I think it is completely possible to cut your grocery bill in half even here in 2022 and I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks and dare I say it, hacks on how you can trim your grocery budget as well. Now, some people ask me why I spend so much energy talking about food <laughs> because I love it, exhibit A, but food is typically the second or third highest line item in everyone's budget and it's the one that's most easily lowered. So according to uh, an article I found, the average cost of food per month in a typical American household of two and a half people is $550 a month, which is pushing very close to $7,000 a year, which is uh, a huge expense. And as grocery prices are increasing, which I have definitely seen in my area, I know most of you have seen in your areas, there's some shortages here and there. Can we still make a difference in our grocery budget? The answer is yes. So hit that thumbs up button for the algorithm and let's get started. One of the largest grocery budget busters is going to be beverages. So you may hate this tip, but I guarantee you can cut 25, 30% off your grocery budget with this one thing, and that's to stop spending money on drinks. When I do my extreme grocery budget challenge videos, I'll leave a playlist down below if you want to go check those out. People always ask me, um, what in the world are you drinking? Uh, where's the juice? Where's the tea? Where's the Gatorade? And the answer is we don't buy it till we drink water. Water is free. <laughs> It's good for you. And did I mention it was free? In my family at certain times in my life where I really had to watch every single penny, we never spent money on drinks unless it was some milk for our very young children. Now that I have older children, they don't need milk the way that they did when they were younger. We don't need Gatorade. We don't need soda. I mean, it tastes good. My mom would argue that she needs the Diet Coke, right? <laughs> but you don't need it. But she would say that you need it, but you don't need it. Do you need it? <laughs> and I know for a lot of people giving up their coffee is going to be very, very difficult. But if you just cut the frilly drinks, the Crystal Light, the juice, the Gatorade, the soda, you will save so much money on your groceries. I'll allow you to keep the coffee as long as you make it from home and don't go to Starbucks. So we're over here at the stove making dinner and it's time consuming and you're tired when you get home from work. So my tip is to make a double batch and freeze half. It is my favorite way to do freezer meals. I actually don't prefer to meal prep like 10 freezer meals and stick them all in the freezer because I'm lazy. So what I prefer to do is when I'm already making something like a lasagna, like a chili, uh, like some kind of soup, I like to double it, take half, freeze it right away for the super busy nights. And if you're already spending the time and money on those ingredients, it doesn't cost that much extra to double a recipe. Like if you're making a potato cheese soup, it doesn't cost double the money to make another batch. It's usually like 20 to 30% because you already have most of the ingredients and the bulk of your ingredients like potatoes in this particular case are very inexpensive. This one's gonna sound a little strange, but grocery shop on Wednesdays. Why Wednesdays? Because most grocery stores although your mileage may vary, change the ad cycle on Wednesdays. And some stores have a double sale week. So they'll have the sales from last week and the sales from this week on a Wednesday. I see you, Sprouts. So if your store is having particularly good sales, uh, some digital coupons, some loss leaders, that's when they sell things at less than their cost to get people in the store and hope they stay in the store and spend more on other things. Their inventory will be higher. You'll be the first one there to take advantage of the deals and it can be easier to meal plan based on the sale items when they actually have all of the products. This is a tip I have been utilizing and teaching for over 10 years. It's what I do. I love to shop on Wednesdays. Sale flyer ad day because I love to get those deals. Another note on this one is if you go into the store for their advertised sales and they are out Go to customer service and please get a rain check. They are happy to give you a rain check. You can come back when they've restocked, get the sale price for up to 30 days after the date you are in there. Speaking of sales and the digital coupons, have you been using the online digital savings that are available to you? Now that's gonna be your digital coupons at a normal grocery store like a Tom Thumb, a Kroger, an Albertsons, a Hy-Vee, a Publix, uh, an HEB. I don't know what all of the stores in the entire country are called, but most of them have an app where you can go in and clip a digital coupon 
to your store card to get extra savings. A lot of the times this can be one to $5 per product. And sometimes you can even get free items. Speaking of digital things, let's talk about the cash back apps, which I have been pushing since I began my channel way back in 2016. On the Ibotta app, they have a whole list of completely free products at Walmart. Right now, they are doing their uh, game day savings. It's a pizza, it's some sparkling drinks, some tortilla chips, some break and bake cookies. All you have to do is go on the app, click on Walmart, add the items to your list, go to the store, make sure the items match. You can scan the barcode directly in store with the app, check out, pay the money, scan the receipt, and the money, at least in my case, is immediately deposited back into my Ibotta account, which I typically then just transfer over to PayPal and put into my bank account. Another way you can do that is to get gift cards. So if you wanna say like, hey, husband, um, it, it was the grocery budget and then redeem the gift card out for like a Sephora gift card and go splurge on some makeup, you know, <laughs> you do you. <laughs> Here are my free items and super cheap items that I picked up from Ibotta today. So I have my pizza, my chocolate chip, well, not chocolate chip, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. My store didn't have a lot of the free ingredients. Like my Walmart doesn't carry mission chips. They don't carry mug root beer. They didn't carry the little protein bars. They just, I actually have a pretty small Walmart. They don't carry a lot of stuff. My free ranch dressing was great. Free case of the bubbly bounce sparkling water and i was really excited to find these for only 98 cents a box with the two dollars off on ibotta because sometimes i do need to be able to make a dish that is vegan gluten-free and because this is just lentil pea and cauliflower flour this will work with um some of the families in my neighborhood that have really uh, strict dietary needs because of allergies here we go this is all the stuff i got for free and or very very cheap using ibotta purchase the simplest item of that item. And I know that sounds a little confusing. So to show you what I'm talking about, let's head over to Walmart and I will give you a very specific example. When it comes to individual servings like this, this is $3 for one serving of oatmeal. Compared to this is $1.99 for 10 servings, or if you're like my kids, five servings, because they do two packets. Compared to a container like this, which here at this expensive store is $2.99. I can get the same thing for closer to $2.25 at Walmart. Almost three pounds of oats, 30 servings in this container. So when you take an individual serving like this, it's gonna be the most expensive option. And then packets like this is a less expensive option. And then the most simple form of the food like this is the cheapest and most budget friendly option. So if you're into foods like this for breakfast, Go with this one, the simple ingredient. Now, if you're going to meal prep anything, meal prepping your breakfasts is going to save you some serious cash. And if you don't know what breakfasts to meal prep, walk down the frozen breakfast aisle and take a look at what they have. The frozen pancakes, the frozen waffles, the frozen French toast sticks, breakfast burritos. I promise you, you can make all of those yourself. They will taste better. They will be healthier and they are so much cheaper than buying them pre-made, pre-frozen, pre-individual little containers. So get out that griddle and make a batch of pancakes. And if you don't know how to make pancakes or you don't want to buy the individual ingredients, you can buy the box mix that's add water. That is still cheaper than the pre-made frozen ones. And if you want to splurge on some pantry staples, you really only need a couple of things to make homemade pancakes. Then you can make them from scratch, which will be even cheaper than the box mix and taste a whole heck of a lot better take a little stroll down that frozen aisle, see what's there and recreate it yourself. Last but definitely not least is to use what you have. So hey, open up that freezer, open up that pantry, take a look inside and meal plan based on what's already here. Oh look, look at, look at this, I have crawfish. So are we thinking I need to make an etouffee for dinner tonight? Should I make a crawfish corn chowder? Yes. And yes, I can get something out of here, save money because I'm not going to the store to purchase my main expensive items. 
and it doesn't go to waste. Like, look, I have some frozen stir fry and I'm pretty sure, like who doesn't have frozen chicken in their freezer, right? Pull out your stir fry, pull out your frozen chicken. I know I have a bottle of teriyaki sauce in my fridge, but boom, 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 but bang, bang, bang. Dinner is served. I didn't have to go grocery shopping, didn't have to spend any money and cleared out some room in my freezer all at the same time. Bonus tip, choose your stores wisely. <laughs> You have chosen poorly. Listen, you are gonna spend so much more money if you just like scamper off to Whole Foods than if you like run on over to Aldi or check out a discount bakery clearance store. Even go to a store like Kroger or HEB and look at the sales and clearance prices. In fact, you might think that Walmart's gonna be your best bet. Wrongo. <laughs> no one store will be the cheapest on anything ever but it just seems like a duh <laughs> to not go to Whole Foods and to hit up a uh, more budget friendly store instead. I know a lot of people say that Trader Joe's is actually really good price. I don't find that to be the case. Now granted, I have to drive to four hours to get to one, but when I do go in there, it is so easy to blow your budget because everything looks so delicious. I find the items to be very expensive. I would say not even go to Trader Joe's unless you wanna like splurge on some snacks, which listen, I've splurged on snacks. I, I like snacks, but you know which stores in your area are more budget friendly and which ones are not. So choose your stores wisely. There you have it. All of my tips for you to save half off of your grocery bill in 2022. If you do all of these items, now you don't have to do all of these items. You could do one of the items, two, three, four, whatever it is, just to see how it affects what you are spending on food. If you want any cooking inspo, I have well over 200 videos all about cooking for a family. I'll leave that playlist down below as well. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Tell me your favorite grocery saving tip down below in the comments. If you wanna try out Ibotta, I'll leave a code in the doobly-doo below. They've never sponsored me. I think they don't like me maybe. I don't know what that's about. I've asked and they've been like, no, you're not really for us. <laughs> Those are my tips for today. Happy grocery shopping from me to you. And hey, hey, I'm only here for the food. Christine out. I don't, I don't dance. Can you believe these French toast sticks are four dollars? <laughs> How many are there? It is one pound for four dollars. That is ridiculous. You gonna dance for me? <gasps> these are over six dollars now. Wow. For four. Yeah, for four. It's a like dollar fifty a box. Dang. Oh, this one is seven. You know what's ridiculous is how cheap you can make those yourself. You can make that so cheap. That's seven dollars. Oh my so gosh. Fast.